it's so dreadfully hot. But why did I want to go out? Oh, yes, it's time for me to ring up Daddy. Farhad, do you remember how we put up the telephone antenna? Huh? The antenna. I have to ring up Daddy. Who knows? Ben, how does one put up... What am I trying to say? Oh, yes, the antenna. The antenna? That's right. Oh, on top of the tent. But that means I have to go out in that burning sun. Why aren't you cooking? I see the flame's gone out, but it's much too hot to light it up again. Away, fly! Huh? <laughs> You're such a klutz! <laughs> what are we doing? We should be consulting Zenum's astral map. We have to find out where to recover the fourth magical crystal. Where's the map? Forget about it. I have not the strength to decipher anything, much less to set off on a journey to who knows where. It will make a great deal more sense to leave in the evening when the temperature is cooler. Yeah, let's wait for the sun to go down. But this day has been going on forever. I wonder what time it is. Who, who knows? knows? Give me more oil! I've been spitting flames for two days now! For want of a nail, a shoe is lost! Do you understand my classical illusion, Snatchkov? Then let's go take off Farhad's shoes once and for all! No! Farhad is still dangerous! I have to burn him and his magic crystals over a slow fire! In that case, maybe you are wanting to turn down the heat a little, yes? Yeah? Silence, foolish mortal! I said I need more oil! All right, not getting overheated, please. Two more days like this, and Farhad will cease to exist! <laughs> uh, just like my reserves of petroleum. Mm. I'll try to call Daddy just the same. What do you think, Farhad? About what? Never mind. The heat seems to be getting worse, ain't it, Bubbler? It's not possible. Hello, Tilda girl. How are things? Oh, you're coming in very faint. Anything wrong? No, everything's all right, Daddy. It's just it's really quite hot. Well, of course it's hot. You're in the blooming desert. Of course, you're quite right, Daddy. We're in the desert. That's why it's hot. Oh, well, Ducky, soon it'll be night and it'll cool off. Anyway, let's hear all about your latest adventure with that stinker Snarchkoff. Who is this Snarchkoff? Why, that evil oil man. Who else? Who is that on the telephone? Lord love a duck. What's going on down here? Tilda! Daddy, there's no need to scream at all. Everything's under control. We're just getting ready for our journey to... Where is it we're headed to, Farhat? Who knows? <sighs> Ali, why don't you prepare us one of your special refreshing potions? Are you kidding? All of my compartments are totally dried out. What I need now is a long drink of water. Help yourself. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I just remembered we don't yet know where we're heading, but soon we'll be consulting Zenim's astral map. Hey, Tilda, look at these crystals. I found them in my scabbard along with the slingshot. Did you like them? Oh, super Farhat. Daddy Farhat found the loveliest crystals. I could make a darling necklace out of them. Oh, please tell me you're joking, lovey. Those are the crystals of the Sherry Man. You need them to fight Ego Can. What's going on, young lady? Answer me. Answer Everything's me. Everything's fine, Daddy. Not to worry. Tilda, what's happening to you, my girl? Everything's just perfectly... Tilda! Tilda! 
felt such heat. Not once in all my 900 years. Somebody answer. Something's wrong down there. I can feel it in my bones. It's that ego what's-his-name and snarch cough. I just know it. If they even touch one hair on my little girl's head. Now, what was it that scorpion said? That might well be a blooming clue to where they are. Jeremy, old chum, how are you getting on down there? Nigel, old chap, good to hear your voice. I'm just fine. How are you? I hear you're doing great things at the television station there. They've got you doing the weather forecast now. Maybe you can help me. Is there a place somewhere in a desert where it's really bleeding hot right now? How in the world did you know about that? The satellites have been recording an incredible heat wave in a small area of the Arabian desert over the last two days. Just where? Pinpoint it. Here's the latitude and longitude down to the split second. That's marvelous, mate. There'll be a case of your favorite lager arriving at your doorstep. The gaffer's old uniform from his service in India. I knew I was right not to throw it away. And now to the mine. I appreciate you taking me shifts over for me, lads. Don't give it a second thought, mate. And I'd feel better if you took my portable shovel Betsy along with you. Thanks, Jim. I promise you I'll take good care of her. Hey, that gormless twit. Don't be forgetting ah. to take along this tea. There's now better for reviving a body of man or beast. Thank you too, Sam. And when they get to the airport, be sure to look up my cousin Cedric. He'll get the free passage mm. on board of some cargo plane. The water evaporates before it can pour. Cousins, you've all come here to visit me. What a lovely surprise. I wasn't expecting you at all. It's a mirage, Ben. Come on, wake up. Oh, who cares anyway? Uh, howling sandstorms. Is that miserable sun ever going to go down? Up a far hat! Pick up the crystals! Huh? The magic crystals. How could you just spill them on the floor like this? Uh, what crystals do you mean? Your mission, Farhat. You know, like the Sherry Man. Where's my father? We're supposed to leave on an airplane trip through the forbidden desert. Uh, Howling sandstorms. Why didn't I think of it before? Uh, uh, this is some stunt ego pants pulling. I gotta mix a potion to counter it. I, I can't do a single solitary thing. This heat will be the death of me. Your evilness. G -g 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 Good morning. I trust you are in excellent health and I wait any orders you might have. Stop to babbling and start to pumping oil. Instantly, sire. Thanks a lot, mate. Now, this here is the last inhabited spot before we come. Uh-huh. Looks like I was right on the money. No jeep, no truck. But I have to get all the way over here. I'll pay double. Mm, you don't want to go there. Terrible heat. Melt you, melt jeep. Very dangerous. Uh, they rent me a motorcycle, a scooter, a bike. No motorcycle, no bike. Dangerous. Then I'll buy me a camel. A, a camel? No, no, huh? no. Look, mate, he's no the only uh, bloody uh, word uh, you know. Camel, very expensive. You not much money. Then I think my family finances will go to the extent of a water bag. It's five piastres. Here. Take this, you bandit. Fill this up for me, will you? There's a good lad. I'm a Swanson from Bermondsey, I am. And our kind never give up. I'm not going to be put off by a few blooming Stop. sand dunes. Stop! You are a madman, stranger. That is not desert, that is furnace. Why you want to go there? It just so happens that my daughter is roasting in that furnace, and with or without your help, I'm going to rescue her. All right. Very well, stranger, I help you. This camel not worth much. I give it to you free. Mm. Not much to look at, is she now? Eh? Better than going on foot? True enough. <laughs> well, 
Well then, little lady, giddy up. Let's have a bash. Love a duck. The old girl's as full of wheezes as a bagpipe with a hole in it. <laughs> oh, I get the picture. I'll carry these for a while, right? <clears throat> I'm beginning to think that I would have been better off with my original plan going on foot. The digitalis. Where did I put it? Howling sandstorms. I can't remember a thing anymore. Oh, yeah. Now I remember where it is. I just got to mix it with that something. Uh, what is it? Oh, Lord, love a duck. How can I be expected to put up with this sort of thing? <laughs> Playing games, are you? <laughs> All right, lovey. Here's where our paths divide. You head back to your village. I'll just sit here for a while and make myself a nice cuppa. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to go back home? What's wrong, you daft? <laughs> Blimey! Why, you mangy little thief, you know what I ought to do? <laughs> Wait till I tell this to me chums in the pub. All right, little sweetheart. The great desert awaits us. Up two, three, four. Up two, three, four. Up two, three, four. Up two. My petroleum! But you have telling me that this the is last month you will The energy of the crystals is still too strong. I must weaken them before I blast them away! Miserable guzzling fafufnik. Repeat, please. No, nothing. I am giving you all the oil you are wishing at. Brent, light, sweet, crude, with or without the bubbles, anything! Then do what I told you to, uh, uh, idiot! <laughs> It's been a rough go, but now night's coming on. It'll get cooler. <clears throat> oh, this is mighty strange. What the devil's going on around here? I don't understand. The sun was just setting a minute ago. Yeah, there it goes, just like I said. But uh, it's not getting dark. Ah, it's the old devil ego calm blasting away right above Farat's tent. Let's go and rescue Tilda and the others. <laughs> oh, come on, lovey. Get a move on, will you? Oh, maybe you're right. This is definitely the wrong way to proceed. I'm an expert miner, ain't I? And I've got this shovel. Hurry, lass. Move it. Good job, lovey. Just keep it up. Oh, it's 
hot, that's for sure. Come on, Tilda. Daddy's here, and everything's gonna be all right. I gotta mix it with a catamarius and... Uh... All right, chum, not to worry. Nigel's here. You're in good hands, you are. Get with it, Tilda. It's nice and cool down here. Stir your stump. Answer me. Open your eyes. Ali said to mix up the digger talis or whatever it is. Anyway, there's no labels. Well, my lad, I've got to start with someone and you're young and strong. <laughs> Uh, uh, love a duck. Something tells me it was the wrong potion I mixed and administered. <coughs> ben, old chum, can you hear me? Come to, will you? Oh, uh, I could make myself a fortune with that in London, but it's not what we need here. It's got to work. One of these here mixtures has just got to work. I'll try one and give the other one to Ali. Uh, 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 my legs! Uh, uh, I'm melting. Oh, Tilda, far out. Somebody help me. Help me! Uh, 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 help! That potion! I have to make a mixture of digitalis and... And by the way, where the heck am I? Uh, howling sandstorms. The digitalis got spilled. There ain't no more. Now how do I save everybody else, eh? Ah! My schnoz has not led me astray. This is vigorous energeticus fortissimus. It'd make a corpse dance. Nah. I feel four or five hundred years younger already. That's a lot better. Now to take care of the others. <laughs> Rise and shine, kiddo! Uh, oh, boy, what's happening here? I feel so strange. But you're not the uh, only one with a problem. Yes, I feel a little off-center myself. You'd feel worse if you could see yourself. What's going on? It's old Ego Can, up to more of his filthy tricks. You remember how hot it was there in the tent? Yes, but how did we get down here? And where is down here anyway? If I'm not wrong, someone must have given us a hand. It's my daddy! <laughs> that, my daddy's that puddle! It's too dreadful! So he was our guardian angel, eh? Good old Niggle! Nigel! And look, he even rescued the magic crystals. It's just that he botched up the potions. Here you go, here you go. Oh, so that's why I'm in this shape, huh? But what can we do for him? Is there any hope of bringing him back? He drank the liquidation gig. A thorny problem. Leave him alone with me. I'll try to wake something no, up. I want to stay here with him. Tilda. I won't go. You know you can trust Ali. Let's go see where this tunnel leads. <gasps> <laughs> oh. <gasps> Hello, Ducky. <Daddy. laughs> oh. Did you really think your old man would just stand by while his little girl was in trouble? Well, as an alchemist, oh. you're a disaster, Niggle. But he's the greatest daddy that ever lived, and his name is Nigel, if you please. <laughs> we went and took a look on the other side of the dune. And you saw the kind of nasty trick that rotten old devil was playing on you, eh? Yes. He almost got us this time. Well, now you leave nice and quiet like so we don't notice you. He'll think you're dead and you can all go about your business in peace. I don't think so. I think Eagle Con deserves a good lesson. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. I saw Eagle Con drinking oil from a Petroglobe helicopter. Anyone have any idea where they would load up? In a little village to the east of here. 
Yes, it's the only one for miles around. You can't go wrong. Listen here, Ali, old chum. Do you feel like bringing some justice into the world? A pleasure and a privilege. More oil. He is wanting 40 more metric tons. What is he, a demon or an oil sponge? The answer is simple. Give him water instead. Who's speaking to I'm? Something wrong, old pal? What? You? What you are done here? You should be bleached bones by now. And alarm! Ha ha alarm! How long will it last? Oh, I just gave him a little zet. By tomorrow morning, he'll be his old disgusting self again. Well, then, we'd better get busy. Is changing program, loading water instead from petrol. But your evilness! No argumentationing, filling up tanks with water. Huh? Yes, your cruelty. Whatever you say, sire, right away. <laughs> Love the Russian accent. <gasps> Look, the helicopter's coming in now. It took you long enough. What'd you do? Stop off for tea? Hurry up! Whatever you are saying, master. He's emptying all three tanks on board. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, thank goodness! Hooray! <laughs> Eagle Con won't be bothering us for a while now, but at any rate, we'd better get a move on. Yes, let's put the crystals on Zenim's map and see where we have to go next. Let's see. According to the map, the fourth crystal of the Sharaman will be found in the Yucatan jungle in four days, 14 hours, 23 minutes, and 18 seconds. Then let's be on our way. You don't want to go traveling in that state. How about a drop of barber gig? Thanks, but I've had enough of potions for one day. Well, then, if you like, I can snip it off by hand. I am not ill equipped. Thank you, but I'm just fine like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Ben. I'll take care of you with a plain old comb and a pair of scissors. Mr. Swanson, we'll give you a lift to the village where you can catch your bus. No, you best be off on your errand. I'll be just fine. Flo, I've got my own transportation. Oh, Daddy, you're simply too wonderful. I don't know what would have become of us without <laughs> Nonsense, you. Nonsense, girl. <laughs> it makes me feel good to be of help from time to time, it does. All right. Then I'll ring you up tomorrow, as always. If you don't, you'll get a good hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Daddy! Bye, lovey! Up, up and away! Huh? Mm. Well, it seems that the effect of old Sam's tea has finally worn off, but my chum, Ali, made me up a potion out of the rest of the bags. Just a couple of sniffs of it every now and then, and with it, you'll be the strongest, fastest camel in the desert. And then you'll get me back to the village in jig time so I can catch me bus, won't you, ducks? I'm worried about leaving Daddy all alone out there in the desert. He'll be fine. He can take care of himself as well as the best of them. What about Snarchkov? What did he say when you took his helicopter? Oh, I would describe him as speechless. Going away. Getting out of here. Miserable Walter. This too, you will pay for it. Yes, you will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs>